Oh, they shut it off. He only got about three yards on that. Yeah, I'll give that front line of Potomac High School uh, credit. They're starting to uh, yeah. push that uh, Oxen Hill line back a little bit. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that tonight. No doubt. Once again, we're here at Oxen Hill for Oxen Hill and Potomac. Oxen Hill with the ball in the shotgun. Tail back to the left. Q back takes it up the middle. Oh, he might take it to the house. He might take it. He's going all the way. Oh, yeah. I love it. Hey, he did it. That's that number eight, Aaron. Number, that's him. That's number eight, Aaron Adache. That's him. Hey, you know what? He told his brother, hey, if you can do it, I, I can, can do, do it. it. Yeah. Hey, he won up them. The brothers both, Aaron, Aaron threw a touchdown to Michael before. Man. Now Michael, man, it's too much. Aaron takes it. Now Aaron takes it to the house. The brothers, you can't beat it. Aaron and Michael Adage. Oh my God! Yeah, that was yeah. that was a great play by the quarterback. I mean, no he doubt. felt the pressure and found him a seam on the left side of the line and dipped back to the Dip middle. Back. And the rest and was turned the burners yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, he got down the sideline yeah, pretty he quickly. He turned it on. Yeah, we we've got a great right. game oh, here. Oh, they're trying to. It was a mistake. Mike. Oh, and they get us. They get two. After a box fumble snap, after they fumbled the snap, he picks it up and run it in for two. Hey, that's yeah. that's great awareness by uh, Jordan Hayes to uh, Jordan Hayes. grab that ball off the turf and pick it up and uh, take it across the line. Great job, young guy. I I said earlier, I'm not just. Excited! I'm delighted to be here yeah. to see this kind of high school football, and so early in the season and the first half. Yeah, this is some great action for a Friday night. I mean, where else would you want to be on a Friday right, night right. other than a football stadium? Right. Friday night lights is not just a thing; it's everything. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. And the energy is here. If you're here, it's nothing like being here. Somebody told me that earlier when I was, I told them, ah, you can watch the game. They told me it's, it ain't nothing like being here. Yeah, nothing yeah, like being yeah, here. It's nothing like being yeah, here. Yeah, and you know, this rivalry yeah. extends far far past uh, football. I mean, every sport these two schools play in, um, you know, it's intense. There's a, there's a lot of tension between both schools. Well, you, you know. By being a coach, I, yeah. I, I was the announcer at your championship game last year, basketball. So, you know, all right, Oxen Hill, number one, trying to get, oh. He ran he into his a, own team. He ran into his own man. Yeah, got to get out of the way. He was ready. I don't even, you know, he's number one, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. see his name number on the roster. I'm uh, looking for him. Yeah, we that's that's Bernard Howard. Yeah, uh, Bernard, we, 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 okay. we can't forget number one. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, I was the one. I'm like, what? This yeah. Bernard Howard. Bernard Howard, yeah. We've called his name. Yeah, he's a junior. We've called his name quite a bit already tonight, and uh he's actually walking off the field uh, a little gas, so okay. not sure if he's being overused or what's going on, but he's a big part of this offense. No doubt about it. 1036 first quarter or it's 1036 second quarter second excuse quarter. me yeah and we've already got uh, a lot of fireworks going no doubt Oxen Hill 16 Potomac 7 Potomac with the ball in the shotgun tailback to the left snap give it to the tailback up middle pick up of about 2 yeah, I, I think Oxen Hill's defense is starting to get a little bit more confidence and figure things out. Um, they're starting to shut this run down. Yes, yes, no doubt. You all can, you all also can see that the game is starting to take that that move. Starting a to bit. lean a little bit. Lean yeah, a little it's just bit. starting to lean right. a little bit it's towards Oxen Hill. The momentum is changing yeah. a little bit. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. 
All right, they're lined up again. Potomac. Here we go. Nine fifty and running. Second and alone six. In the shotgun, Potomac. Till back to the left. Hurry. Snap. Oh. Snap oh, it's bad fumble. snap. Oh. No. Oh, don't tell me that Oxford Hill was scored. Did he recover? Looked like the Wolverines did recover. The Wolverines right. got it back, luckily. Wow. Yeah, Potomac. things are starting to go the wrong way for the Wolverines tonight. Like the right. Potomac, bad snap. He's very fortunate to have recovered that. Yeah. All right, we want you to let you know, parents, prevention starts with you. Fentanyl-related overdoses among teens are rising. Tap onto the PG website, Prince George County Public Schools website, for more information for what you should do as a parent in regards to overdoses of our children. Yeah, we've got a timeout here on the right, field. We've got a timeout with 9:13. Yeah, give these guys a chance to catch a break. And we'll be right back. Curry. All right. Perfect. Oh, he just he threw, that one up. threw that one up. <laughs> All right. 907 second quarter. Yeah, that was number 11 on 11 again. And we talked about that matchup earlier in the game that uh, that was going to be one to keep an eye on. So Potomac thought they could get him out on that sideline and uh, get some separation. Right. And, Roman yeah. Devers on Ashton Davis. They've been going at it from the very beginning, 11 on 11. Hey, when you got the best wide receiver in the county against one of the best cornerbacks in the county. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you're going to get the matchup that you, uh, yeah. that, you, that you can enjoy. No doubt. All right. As you can see, we've got Potomac on the four-yard line. Six yard line, matter of fact. Yeah, they gotta get some room. I yeah, mean. they gotta get some, definitely. But yeah. they're punt, punting out of their end zone. All right, this should be all in Oxen Hill's favor. They don't bump, bumble this or fumble this. Pun oh, oh, he shanked it. Oh, he, he shanked, shanked it. it bad. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah, that was a shank punt. It was punt. no doubt a shank punt. Shout out to a great field Mark position for Ox and Hill here. We like to send a shout out to all those people at Greenbelt Middle School that make a day and a difference. I'd like to first send a shout out to my principal, Mr. Marcellus Clements, and his staff, Mr. Colding, Miss Weir, and Miss Butler for all they do, our administrators, and then our staff and our community coordinator, Dr. Joyce Jackson. We keep it moving right here on Chris, Prince George County Public Schools game of the week. Oxen Hill and Potomac. Oxen Hill with the ball in the shotgun. Oh! Oh! He's going all the way on this fumble. Yeah, can't all advance the, the ball way. in uh, high school oh, football. Yeah, my, my. definitely recovered the fumble. fumble. Recovery for six. Yeah, six points. Ah, oh, this game is too much. 
<laughs> you just saw it. Yeah, we. we a there fumble? seems to be a little confusion down on the field, so I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know if you can advance a fumble in uh, high school football. That's a good point. No, I didn't. I haven't thought about that. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Oxen Hill is going to retain the possession of this ball, so I'm not sure exactly what happened here. But we're going to find out. That's a good point. Maybe in high school you can't prog you can't have any progress after the fumble to pick it up. But I don't see why not, though. Yeah. I don't see why not. Well. Either way, it's still Oxen Hills ball. And, Oxen uh, Hills ball, 8.40 to go, second quarter. Oxen Hills 16, Potomac 7. Potomac now is on the Oxen Hill 38 yard line. Sign up for telehealth. Students can now benefit from free virtual medical visits with Hazel Health. Sign up today. Kind of expected here, you know, first game of the season. The kids are just kind of working yeah. the kinks out. So, you know, we've had a couple fumbles here tonight, a couple false starts, but, you know, that's expected. It's the first game of the season. Right up the middle. Yeah. Oxen Hill taking it to Potomac right up the middle. Yeah, he gave it to his fullback that time, uh, which wasn't expected. That's Noah Williams, fullback for Oxen Hill. Okay. Oxen Hill, line up again in the shotgun. Two tailbacks. Brought it to the middle, up the middle. Good for about 10 yards, first down. Good run. That was a good run, Devon. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a draw play or not. It kind of looked similar to yeah, a draw did, play did, as yeah. those linemen got through and uh, got behind the ball. They ended up actually behind the ball. Oxen Hill lining up again. They're running the ball real nice at this moment. Yeah, we've got another time out here um, as Coach Crump wants to get his defense together and talk to his guys and uh, see if they can get out of this trouble that they seem to be in here. We'd like to let you know you're on the Prince George County Public School Sports Network. I'm here to Vell Ralston with Devon Williams. And we have an outstanding game of the week with Oxen Hill and Potomac. Right here at Oxen Hill High School. Yeah, once again, great night for football. Family, friends, parents, classmates. All of that. Everyone is here tonight for this contest. And uh, just a good feeling. Just, just you know, really good feeling just to be in the stadium amongst the kids and right. supporting the kids. Right. Yeah, this, this feels good. We also like to let you know we got these clear backpacks now. Learn more about the clear backpack policy that applies to 9 through 12 graders and students in non-traditional programs, north, south, and middle. That's for our protection so that we can see what students are bringing in to school. All right. Oxen Hill in the shotgun. Snap. Giving it to the tailback again in the middle. Pick up of about three. He's down to about the 12-yard line. Yeah. Potomac's going to have to buckle down and uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah, get out of here with nothing more than three points than on three the board, points. maybe zero. You said that. Yeah. Big shout-out to uh, head of athletics here and assistant head, Miss Shirley Diggs and George McClure. I see both of them. Uh, walking the sideline here in tonight's game. So we definitely appreciate everything they do for Prince George's County community and schools um, and the time that they give. To the house. Ah, it's a flag, flag on the play. Flag. flag on the play, though. Yeah. He took it to the house, Devon. Right. We got a little it. extra activity in the end zone as well. No need for that tonight. Right. So yeah. Good play though. That was a good play. Yeah, they're gonna bring that one back as we as we've got a hold holding? on. Yeah, I we've got a holding, holding call on Oxen Hill, so uh they're gonna bring that play back and try it again. 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Clippers Stadium, where it's all about safety and security here. You see the new High school specialty programs and applications window opens early. Deadline to submit an application is September 13th for the Academy of Health Sciences, Aerospace, Engineering, Aviation, and Technology. Wonder how many of these guys uh, play little league together and, and, and now standing across the line from right, across the exactly. football from each other. For these schools only be a mile and a half apart, most of them have seen each other several times, definitely in middle school or elementary. All right, give off to the tailback again. He's kind of caught up. He's down to the, he made it to the 10 yard line, I think. Yeah. Pickup of about two. Yeah, that was number 11 for uh, Potomac hanging on to his ankles and uh, he was trying to drag him. Everybody's here enjoying the, the atmosphere. And it's getting more packed as we go, as we get closer to the halftime. I mean, this reminds you of old school. I mean, this is what I grew up on. Just, you know, a, a, a packed stadium, everybody out watching we, football. And we got the windows open on the, in the yeah, it feels press good. box. You can smell the barbecue, uh, the cooking on the grill. He's got to get rid of this. He's got to get rid of it. Oh, he yeah. did. He was trying to get it to him, but he just didn't have enough on it. Yeah. I don't, I, you know, the defensive backs for Potomac, uh, they did a great job of uh, holding those receivers in front of them and not giving them an opening. So uh, hats off to Potomac secondary. They definitely won that play. You can hear the stumps on the floors of the... That's the uh, student section directly yeah, that, in front of us. Right, they, they're they're can, lined up. Right, we can, like their school spirit. You can feel the stumps on the floor up in here. <laughs> All right. It's on like a pot of neck bones up here. <laughs> All right, they tail back to the left in the shotgun. Quarterback still holding the ball. He's got lots of... <laughs> yeah. Oh! That was, oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah. Hey, he had a lot of time. Yeah. So that offensive line for Oxen Hill was just holding steady. Yeah, he, he had plenty of time to throw it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Turnover and downs. All right, here we go. Oh, we got some lights on. I was yeah. just wondering where we going to get some lights. Our lights just came on in the press box. Once again, we'd like to welcome you to Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week between Oxen Hill and Potomac. I'm here with Devon Williams and my crew. And it's an outstanding evening for football. Thank God it's Friday and I'm here to enjoy it with Devon. Devon, what they doing now? They get, is they taking a break or what? Yeah, they're just resetting this uh, here in the second quarter. We're down to six minutes, so okay. uh, the action is about to come back. I know you, you, you're ready for another one, huh? I ain't no doubt. I'm <laughs> ain't no doubt. I'm ready. This is this is good. Yeah, it's this been is a good ball game. This has been good. It's been good, and it's only getting better. All right. Potomac lines up. First down, Wolverine. They're on the 10-yard line, up Where under center. One, one running back. Gives it to the running back. He's coming around he to run. He's at oh, that's the 15. A good tackle. Yeah. Right. He picked up five yards. Pick up a five. Yeah, that's number 30 for uh, Oxen Hill, Stephen Mason. Yeah, great job of getting outside and that bringing that Marshawn running back. That was Marshawn Perry, down. the running back, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So this is how we know it's a big game. I'm just looking down on the field and looking at all the cameras from the different news outlets and <laughs> yeah. radio oh, stations. Yeah. No uh, doubt. I mean, this is a huge game here on a Friday night. Exactly. All right. Not only is the game huge, we're large and in charge right here at Oxen Hill. Potomac go up the middle. Yeah, he's a little shifty, but uh, unfortunately, just wasn't not a, a lot of room in there for him to get through. But uh, pick up about two yards. Yeah, Oxen Hill okay. defense. They're they're stout up front. I tell you, you know, I'm being a being a coach here at Oxen Hill. You know, I have an opportunity of uh, seeing these young guys 
you know, during their off season, and uh, they spend a lot of time uh, in the off season in the weight room and conditioning Good. and. Um, just doing everything necessary. And I'm sure Potomac does the same thing yeah. uh, over at that school. But, you know, that those extra hours in the weight room is starting to show here tonight. Well, the offseason is generally, generally what makes the difference. Yeah. It's what you do in the offseason to prepare for the season. Yeah, I tell, I tell people all the time, what you do in the offseason determines what you do in, exactly. in, in the regular season. Yeah, exactly. It, it leads right into yeah. it, so... No time off for none Prepar of these guys. Preparation is everything. Yeah. You know, the more you're prepared, the better you will be at whatever you do. Yeah. And you've got to be prepared for tonight's game because this is game <laughs> one of the season. One team wins, one, one team, team loses. loses. And who knows? You know, that one team that loses, your season doesn't start off the way you anticipated. Right. And. Uh, as tough as this county is, there's no telling. Right. Yeah, right. so you definitely want to come in a nice game and try to get he this first win. Oh, he cuts it. Oh, he got around the corner. Oh, oh that's a big oh. hit. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get a flag Pop on that one. Weasel. Pop go to Weasel. Yeah. Get a little temper. Get tempers flying. Yeah, hard I don't know. Hit, hard hit out of bounds. Yeah, I think maybe he had already stepped out of bounds yeah. and... Uh, then they came in and got an extra hit out. He had already stepped out of bounds. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, you know, it was, it's one of those bang bang right. plays. It's very close. It's kind of hard. Yeah, when, but, when you're in motion, all in motion. Yeah, but hey, that official was right down there he on the on field, yes, on the sideline. So Man, we've got to go with what he called. Yes, he did. Yeah. Now, on the field, ladies and gentlemen, we got a house announcement. If your vehicle, once again, if your vehicle is parked on Lake T Drive, you are about you're about to get ticket and towed. We will give you a couple of minutes to get out there and get to your vehicle. If your vehicle is parked on Lake T Drive, Please. Yeah, that was a huge penalty there. That, that moves them across. Penalty. Yeah, big that moves uh, Potomac across half court. 15 yards, yes. Yeah. 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 Midfield. I said, right. no, that's, yeah. that's, that's the basketball coach of me. I said they moved across half yeah. court. Yeah. You missed that mid one. Right. Yeah, right. they're across midfield. All right. Oh, up the middle. That was a good one right there, straight up the middle. Yeah, he was shot out, of a, shot out of a cannon on that yeah, one. Yeah, Micaiah Lewis. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, when you have a penalty, that can kind of change the uh, momentum of a game and get things going in the opposite so. direction. So we'll see if Oxen Hill can... Uh, hold on tight here. And Lewis is like a mighty mouse. He's 5'10", 185, so he's got good good weight and size for it to be a tailback. All right. They're lining up now. Up under center. Potomac. Give it to the tailback. Up the middle. Oh. Oh, he fumbled. He fumbled. He, yeah. Oh, that he ball. caught it up. Oh, that's down. He's down. He's yeah. down. He was down. Ah, That's Ashton, Ashton Davis, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got the chain on. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Ah, you get a turnover and you get the turnover get the chain. chain hung on you. They doing that college stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bring it. I Look love it. Look at him. Look at him. Got the chain around his I neck. I see you, Ashton. What, what college is that that does that? Uh, is that Miami or is, what college is yeah, that? I think Miami may be the college yeah, that started Miami, it. Yeah, Miami, yeah. They put that, that big gold chain. Oh, this is, this is an awesome yeah. evening for football right here at yeah. Oxen Hill High School. Yeah, that's a huge turnover, huge takeaway major, for Oxen Hill major, and Ashton. Uh, major. Just when we thought the momentum was changing, was changing, Oxen Hill takes the ball away. As well as that would have tied the game up for them. They could have at least got back within one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Coach Crump doesn't look to be very happy about that. So all right, we got a timeout on the field right now. We like to let you know once again. He cut us. Oh, okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, public announcement. It's your car, motorcycle, bike. Get industry certified or licensed and get college credits with no student debt all at the same time. Learn to work and work to learn. Apply to a Prince George's County Public Schools CTE program now to start building your future today.
As a career and technical education student at Prince George's County Public Schools, you get college credit and industry certifications while you're in high school, but that's just the beginning. You can be a part of fun student organizations, compete with your peers, earn scholarships from industry partners, find a mentor in your chosen field, become an apprentice, and get help finding a job. CTE is just the starting point, and your future starts now. We're back right here after a forced fumble. Oxen Hill has the ball on the 18 yard line. 316 to play, second quarter before first the halftime. Yeah, Potomac's got to uh, find a way to make something happen. They've uh, turned the ball over a couple times here. They've had to. Uh, they shot themselves in the foot yeah. with this one. They really did because they were on, they had the momentum and they were about to score. Yeah, it seems to be a little confusion from the uh, Potomac coaches over on the sideline. Yes. Yeah, trying to get this group organized. Hopefully they can hold Oxen Hill to no score before the half. Up the middle. Pretty good. Coming out. Got away. Pickup of about 15 yards. Yeah. He's at the 32 yard line. That's great blocking by Oxen Hill to uh, give him an opportunity to get outside. They're keeping fresh legs in there too, Oxen Hill. You see they're changing, yeah. keeping those fresh legs in. All right, Oxen Hill on the 30. Eight yard line in the shotgun. Tail back to the right. Got a time, time out. Here. out. Oxen Hill Clippers. Once again, we like to let you know we all know that Prince George County Public Schools is one of the best in the state. We've proven it without. With our teams on the court, on the field, and our classroom performances off the field. We ask all spectators at this game to help continue that proud tradition by showing good sportsmanship throughout this contest. Let's make our visitors feel welcome and give our officials the respect they deserve and doing a difficult job. We hope you're having a good day and a good evening on a beautiful Friday right here at Oxen Hills for Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. I'm Tavell Ralston here with Devon Williams, my analyst, and we are enjoying what we're seeing right here at Oxen Hills. All right, they're coming back after a timeout. We're getting ready to hopefully play this out in the last three minutes of the second quarter. Oxen Hill with the ball on the 35-yard line, on the 36-yard line. Yeah, Oxen Hill's been running this football, uh, this possession, so I expect them to continue to put this ball on the ground, and there it is. Oh, oh he's met. Nah, he was <laughs> met. He lost. He took a loss. He took a loss. Number 15. Yeah, My number 15. Devon was Abram. John, De Devon was Devon John, Abram. Johnny on the spot. He's a pretty big boy, 6 feet, 200 pounds. He's, and, and he's only a sophomore. He's just a sophomore. Yeah, he went in there unblocked, so there was yeah. no chance for that running back to uh, get All right, through in any the type shotgun. of Oxen Hill in the shotgun. He's back. Oh, he takes it around. Yeah. Good run. I think he lost his balance Good. trying to get yeah. outside, but we give all the credit to Potomac for dragging him down on that one. No, Potomac's no. got some speed out there. I mean, they're, they're very fast to the ball. They're not a very big football team, but they are definitely some speedy guys Yeah, they're quick, there. no yeah. doubt. They got a lot of Mighty Mouse type yeah. guys. Yeah, they're, there. they're, they're a small team, yeah, but small. they fly around, they get to the ball, and we know they got some toughness over there. Yep. All right, Oxen Hill on the 36-yard line. They took a loss of about one in the shotgun. Tail back to the left. Here's the snap. Goes back. 
He yeah. got sacked on the 25-yard line. He took a loss of about 10 yards. Yeah, he's got to get that ball out of his hand. He had three receivers uh, on, yeah. on, on this side of the field. Yeah. Uh, we had the out that was open. Uh, looks like we had a corner post run as well. But uh, that quarterback, he's got to get that ball out of his hands Definitely. a lot quicker. Yeah. Definitely. A little slow on getting the ball out. Oh, we're kicking it. We got sounds, people. Hey, it's a party in here tonight. Uh, it's going on. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'll say it again. It's going on like a pot of neck bones. Yeah. Believe me. And you can smell the food. They're cooking. We got all kinds of fragrances of food. And oh, my God, smells of all the good food that is on the grill. If you could look to my right, you see the smoke and the lights, and you can smell the food. I'm looking for something good to eat, Devon, <laughs> at halftime. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. All right, we're winding down. 41 seconds to play as we get ready. The last play of the game, Oxen Hill. They're punting. Last play of the half. They've called a timeout. It's a timeout. Timeout on the field. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Oxen Hill doesn't want to make any mistakes here. Uh, right before the half, they're they're um, in deep territory here, so they've got to be certain of what they're doing, make sure the correct play is called, and make sure they get this punt off. It's on like a pot of neck bones. Like I said, we're cooking here at Oxen Hill High School, home of the Clippers. I'm Tavelle Ralston with Devon Williams here. We're having a good time. We'd like to let you know the upcoming immunization for all students is coming. We have free immunization clinics available to you. All you need to do is go online and register online at www.marylandvac.org. Last play of the half, I think. Yeah, They're Oxen Hill just wants to get this punt off. They don't want any mistakes here. Uh, he they gets got it, it off. off. They yeah. got it off. Oh, he's got to pick that up. All right, his flag on the play. He yeah, picked it up. Yeah, I see laundry coming in yeah, over top of all over. Yeah, got yeah, yellow flags. They're going to be calling that one back. We got... Approximately 24 seconds left on the clock. First half, Oxen Hill 16, and Potomac 7. It's a great evening for football on a Friday night here at Oxen Hill High School. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna mark this penalty off against Potomac and push them back uh, a little further. Um, yeah, again, just not going Potomac's way this evening. I'd like to send a shout out to one of our former colleagues at Greenbelt Middle School, Mr. Warren, who is now at High Point, who is the head coach at High Point High School. Hopefully he's having a good night. Yeah, congratulations send to it, him. Yeah, he got, a, he got a head coaching job. He was at Roosevelt as an assistant. And he was at our school, kind of like what you, you know, teaching yeah. at another school, but coaching somewhere else. And now he's the head coach at High Point. We send yeah. him out a shout out. Hopefully things are going well for him tonight. Yeah, and I like to see things like that, guys and guys and women who have put their time in in the county and want an opportunity to be right. a head coach at, yeah. a, at a program. So yeah. that's great that you're able to move up. Yeah. Oh, good pass. Yeah, that's a great pass. Ago, that was yeah. a good pass. Yeah, to he the got it to his, yard line. Yeah, he got it over to his outside shoulder, right, right. on the money. Great Again, pass. that's number eleven, Rome Divers. Yep. Yep. Outside shoulder is where you place great that pass. ball, and the quarterback did a great job of putting it where it needed to be. He put it on the money there. He yeah. Put unfortunately, it there. that clock isn't stopping. They yeah, got about stopped. thirteen seconds to right. get this snap in. One last play. We're down to eight seconds. Going to the end zone. Yep, that Going snap to the is end off. Zone. He's got to get it off. And oh. underneath. Yeah. All right. This ends the first half. Yeah. I just knew he was going to go for the end zone. Why would uh, I don't know how that could happen. Yeah, nothing to lose. He, right, he took yeah. the underneath route, but right. he needed to throw that thing up into the end zone. And uh, 
Hope that somebody could come up with it. Well, this is the first half. We'll be back in moments. hold you back. Prepare for what's next at Prince George's Community College. Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate and you could start pursuing your passion today. Students and visitors are about to see Prince George's County Public Schools new weapons detection system called OpenGate. The system is designed to automatically screen people with backpacks and bags for threat detection. It will also identify other contraband items that are not allowed on school property. Open gate screening is fast and automatic. It requires no removal of backpacks, bags, or purses, and it's designed for easy walkthrough flow. When you arrive on campus, you should have your laptop out and be ready to hand it to a staff member before walking through. You can retrieve your belongings on the other side and continue to your destination. However, if the light at the top of the pillar turns red, a staff member will pull you aside to a designated search area and perform a search of your person and backpack or any other bags you may have with you. If a weapon or a contraband is found, law enforcement will be notified. Here's a reminder, all students and all visitors to campus during regular school hours will be required to enter through the open gate system and are subject to search. Your safety while in school is our top priority. We thank you for your patience and understanding as we implement this new security system. The main thing I can see is going to be a dogfight. Since the first time we played in, what, since 85, 86, it's going to be a dogfight. Both teams are going to come out ready to play, no matter what they projected to be in the season, whether they're going to be 0-10, 10-0, it's going to be a dogfight, that one game. My goal of the season is to win states and do better than we did last year. Like, go farther than we did last year and not go out how we did. To be able to trust each other on the field and be able to know that we got each other back and just having loyalty and trust on the field 100%. I feel like me and my team, we're going to put, put it on our show. I feel like um, every fight, every uh, game is definitely going to be a dog fight and we're going to leave it all on the field each time we play. I want out of the football season personally is to uh, do the best I can do and push past my limit and be able to build my brothers up. Looking forward to this Oxford Hill game. There's going to be a lot of competing, fast, physical football. I know everybody got a lot of faith in us, and I know that we're going, we're going to deliver. Uh, Oxford Hill versus Potomac, it's going to be a, a very good game. Like, it's going to be competitive, but uh, we just got to stay focused. We got to stay a unit. And I, I say bring, bring y'all bring popcorn because it's going to be a good game. All I got to say is Oxford Hill will be ready to compete. You from Oxford Hill, you watching? Just know we coming. We ready for a game. Uh, I just want to say I'm a hard worker, and I know that um, my team, we, work, we always work hard, everything we do. So I feel like this definitely going to be a great season for us, and I'm going to go out with a bang. a lot of energy, a lot of explosiveness, um, a winning season. This year, for the Oxford Clippers, it's going to be a big improvement. Our past years, we've been rebuilding this program, and we're at the point where I think we could make a big change. From the Clippers this year, you will see a lot of energy, a lot of explosiveness, um, a winning season, and a lot of great games.
Individually, I want to I want to increase my ability to get yards after the catch. I feel like as a receiver, I need to be explosive as possible, and I should be able to turn short routes into long drives. Um, this year, um, I want to accomplish just growing as a team, getting a lot better. We've been we've been okay for the last two years, but I feel like these next two years they don't really have to deal with us, and um, you're gonna see a way more explosive offense and um, a way harder defense. As a team, I expect us to win more games because of all the work we put in this offseason. We, we more developed, and I think we have a good opportunity to do something big this year. Friday night, you're going to see um, a win. We're going to come out with a lot of energy, a lot of explosiveness, and we're going to outplay Potomac. It's going to be a ball game. I can tell you right now, two great teams going head to head, battle at Oxen Hill. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of hard playing. And we're going to play hard, play fast, play physical. You know, we've been working all summer towards this. You know Since this hard work pays off. Yeah. Show the spring, winter, all that builds up to this and the rest of the season. Hey! Watch the play! Hey, no, hey, 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 Welcome back says it all. It may be August the 28th, but it feels like January 1st because it is Happy New Year at the Prince George's County Public Schools. Six brand new middle schools, lots of elementary schools, many new teachers, and a brand new superintendent. This new year is looking good. Are you excited about the first day of school? Yes. Yes? Are you excited? Yes. Yes. You look so good. Mom, what do you like about, well, you're welcome. What do you like about this school? Uh, I like how they communicate. Um, they make sure my kids are well taken care of and they just always um, make sure the environment is safe. As it has always been on the first day of school, a kind of New Year's Day, it was a family affair all across Prince George's County. Emotions ran high as 131,000 students said goodbye to their parents, some more reluctantly than others, showed off their new clothes, sported backpacks from clear to cartoonish, and seemed more than ready to get to work. Even if a few were more interested in the cafeteria. Are you excited about the first day of school? Yeah. Yeah? Why? <laughs> lunch yeah and some intimidated by the new Hyattsville Middle School so you guys you guys excited about getting into the new building yeah I'm scared what you scared well I tell you what I had a chance to visit it about three weeks ago incredible incredible indeed at a jaw-dropping four stories high the new Cathedral of Learning on 42nd Avenue in Hyattsville could easily be mistaken for a college campus. Boasting dozens of classrooms, drama and dance studios, large windows giving panoramic views, and airport-sized spaces filled with cozy chairs, Hyattsville is but one of six new middle schools all P3s built by a public-private partnership that have been completed in just two and a half years. We will be building just as many in the next few years, and that is a real partnership between the Board of Education, the County Council, the uh, General Assembly. This is the Prince George's County Public Schools uh, innovation. We are the model for the country, and our students are benefiting first. If there was joy everywhere you looked on day one, it was because school and county officials are committed to student health, safety, and happiness every day of the coming year. The, the teachers are here. They're waiting for their arrival. We have teachers guiding them to their classrooms today, and they're going to be safe and happy today, and I hope that makes them feel better. So one of my passions is making sure that all of our scholars and our staff have psychological safety. We've had a lot of things that have happened since COVID-19. And, you know, I just think that it's time for us to really focus on our mental wellness and looking at holistic approaches so that everyone is ready to learn and teach. 
They should know that all of us are working together, that we believe in them, and we're so excited about all that they will learn, the friends they will make, and we're going to make this a safe environment for them this year and continue to invest in all of our kids and their families. And if the students are elated, so too are their teachers, many of whom were once PGCPS students themselves. Did you go to school in Prince George's? I went to school here. Oh my goodness, so you're back here. What's that feel like? Uh, it feels good because I feel like I'm in sort of a way giving back to the community. Um, and I worked with youth a lot before I started teaching, so it's just another way I can work with my passion. So yeah. I love it. What, would you, what are you going to say to your kids when they walk in today? Some of them are going to be a little scared and nervous. And all. How are you going to put them at ease? Uh, well, last year I had some of the kids. Some of the kids probably remember me, so uh, seeing them will be a good refresher. But for the new ones, you know, just to, uh, you know, make sure that you pay attention to your teachers uh, and also, you know, get to know each other, get to know your classmates, you know. It's, it's going to be a fun year. Yeah, I graduated from Bowie High, and then I went to College Park for my um, degree. Um, first day ever as a teacher. Yes, my first day. How's this feel? Um, it's nerve-wracking, but it's also very exciting, too. I'm very, I'm looking forward to this school year. I'm really looking forward to meeting all these new kids and teaching. I think it's going to be really fun. And if Superintendent Millard House is trying to convince youngsters that they're in the right place, doing the right things for all the right reasons, then he has to be gratified that the message is already coming through loud and clear. You know, the, the message for a, a brand new family, a brand new student is that uh, we're in, we're here in Prince George's County uh, Public Schools to work together. We're, we're looking forward to not only working with our school board, working with our county executive to ensure that we provide the best quality education as possible. Uh, having the opportunity this morning to, to be on the bus stop, on the bus, watch our students get on with the enthusiasm. We want that enthusiasm to actually bleed through from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade to ensure that they have the opportunities to be college career ready, come back to this county and and and, and have the, the opportunity to, to have the livable wages to make a difference. What's your favorite thing about school? The fact that somebody smart invented a place where children and teenagers can feel safe and a place to learn and into the point where it's not too difficult or not too easy for them. What a great description. Schools are in the Goldilocks zone. Thank you, Josiah, and all your classmates across the county for giving us plenty of reasons to be hopeful and proud on this New Year's Day, the first day of school. This is Dave Zarin reporting.
back right here at Oxon Hills, Prince George County Public Schools game of the week. I'm Tavell Ralston with Devon Williams, and we're getting ready for the kickoff. Oxon Hill getting ready to kick off to Potomac. Oh, what a feeling on a Friday night. Good kick. Oh, he's going to pick it up. Potomac is going to go with it. Not much to the 20 yard line. All right. Yeah, coming out in this second half, Potomac is going to have to figure out how, one, to take care of the football and uh, not turn it over and give it back to the Oxen Hill. Um, and secondly, they're going to have to figure out how to get number 11 going again, uh, get the ball in his hands in order to get back into this one. First no doubt. Wolverine. We'd like to let you know that our new superintendent, Millard House II, wants to thank you for a successful first week of school. He looks forward to great things this school year and has in store for you and your continued partnership for student success. Thank you, Mr. House the second. We appreciate you coming to Prince George County Public Schools. All right, we're here at Oxon Hill behind the center. Potomac to the tailback. He lost, he lost a yard, I think, Devon, or two. Yeah, it looks like Potomac wants to come out and start running the ball, see if they can uh, get these guys up close to the line of scrimmage and then maybe get the ball down the field. Uh, we'll see what Coach Crump has up his sleeve this second half. It's one thing about Oxen Hill right now. They got to play good defense. You know, they don't want them to get back in the game because if they tie this game up, it's going to be a different game. Yeah, I think Oxen Hill right now, they're, they're just trying to keep guys in front of them, not allow those big plays to happen. Uh, the seven points on the board we know was from a uh, botch play. Botch so, uh, yeah, that defense has to be real confident right now in what they're doing uh, against this Potomac offense. All right, he's in the shotgun. Takes it. Quarterback keep. Goes to the 31-yard line. Yeah, that was a good uh, RPO there, and the uh, quarterback, instead of handing it off, he decided that he First was going to keep that one and uh, scoot First it out down. to the left sideline. Right, so, I, yeah, I, li I like what Potomac is coming out and doing. They're going to mix it up a little bit, run here, throw there, uh, run their RPO. So I like it. Right, I do too. Keep them off balance a little bit. Yeah, exactly. All right, Potomac lines up once again. Quarterback in the shotgun. Tailback to the left. First and ten. Snap. Right Gives it to the tailback up the middle. Right the middle. Pick up of about Great five yards. Down. Yeah, here we go. That's three plays in a row where Potomac has just put the ball in someone's belly right. and relied on their running back to uh, gain some yardage for him. So uh, that seems to be Crump's uh, plan here going in the second half. No doubt. Oxen Hill is going to have to uh, get a couple few, few a few more guys in that box and stop this run. They moved the ball back a little bit. It's on the... 36-yard line now. Once again, parents, you can go online and find out the bus route status and updates. Tap onto the website of your visiting school or by visiting your school website. All right, out of the shotgun. Oh, he got around the corner. Quick. Man, that's boys pretty good. Yeah. That's number two, McKee, Makai Lewis. Yeah, and that was Torian Coates who came up with that uh, save and tackle because I think without Coates, uh, we could be looking at a uh, tie ball game or at least uh, a game within two points. So that was a great tackle by Coates. Yep. Yeah, I took a look at the defense right before that snap, and uh, it looks like uh, Oxen Hill had uh, about 10 guys up in that box, so I'm not sure he got through, but... Right. Yeah, and we're going to add a few yards here uh, to that run, which definitely uh, helps Potomac here. Well, you can see it must be a 15-yard penalty. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no doubt. Move the ball to the 28-yard line. All right, you're you're looking at a good one happening right here at Oxen Hill. Yeah, Oxen but, Hill is going to have to stop this leakage. I mean, right now they're just uh, Potomac's just walking them down the field. All right, Potomac, quarterback up under the center, two running backs, 
Give it to the tailback. Number two, Lewis again. Oh, he's around the corner. I think he's going to the house. House. <laughs> House, no, nah, it doesn't Lewis. look like he made he it in. Like he He's a little short. He might be short. He yeah. might be short, Devon. You might be right about that. That was a great run. Yeah, I, I told you. He's quick. Yeah, yeah we, we know about Potomac's quickness. But as I said, Potomac has made up their mind that they're going to hand the ball, put the ball in someone's belly, and they're just going to run it down Oxen Hill's throat this second <laughs> right. half. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good run, good yeah. outside run. Yeah, Oxen Hill's going to have to make some adjustments as they, uh, they're they here on the one-yard line. Makai Lewis. He's a senior, 5'10", 185 pounds, but he is quick on his feet. Yeah, Oxen Hill has their linemen lined up, lined up in these gaps here, so let's see if they can get some penetration and keep the ball out of the end zone. Okay, they're lined up, up under center, Potomac. Quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak. There's no signal yet. No signal yet, Devon. No sig the signal. Touchdown. There it is. Touchdown. Touchdown. That makes a difference, Devon. Yeah, Potomac didn't didn't run the ball. Uh, didn't throw the ball in that one time. I nah. mean, you add in the 15-yard penalty and. Yep. Um, a few six and seven yard runs, and now we're looking at a 15 13 ball game. I uh, wonder if they're gonna go for two here. Okay, I like it that they came right out and scored. Yeah, that's how you answer. You come right. out, you come out of the locker room exactly. in the third quarter, and you got a little pressure. You're looking up at the scoreboard, so yeah, Potomac did a great job of answering the bell on that one. Looks like they're going for two here. Yeah, looks like they're going for two. Once again, you're on the Prince George County Public Schools Network, Sports Network, right here on YouTube. I'm Tavell Ralston. I'm here with Devon Williams. And we're in a really good barn burner today. Yeah, I'm gonna take or my tonight. chance. Yeah, I'm gonna take my chances here and say they're running the ball. Yeah, there's no doubt about <laughs> it. You can see <laughs> they're they, running they the look, ball. They look like they got they look like they got new confidence. And there it is. Oh, he there fumbled it. Oh, he fumbled. And look at that. Incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah. Wow. He was in there. <laughs> wow. Man. Yeah, All they needed right. that one. But, hey, they figured it out. They figured out that they just need to uh, put the ball on the ground and drive it. And They sure did. Yeah. So we'll see what kind of answer Oxen Hill has for them. All right. Prince George County Public Schools game of the week. Oxen Hill and Potomac right here at Oxen Hill High School. Once again, I'm Tavell Ralston with Devon Williams here. And we're witnessing definitely one of the best games to start the opening season anywhere could be. Yeah. We've seen a lot of football and action. Yeah, this has been one of the most anticipated games um, that I've ever been a part of okay. for the beginning of the season. Um, both of these teams have a tough schedule, but to come out in the first game of the season and have to face your rival, right, right. Uh, man, it's got to be tough. A lot it, of pressure. It, it kind of reminds me of the game that we did, uh, Wise and Flowers, yes, the yes. first game. That game was like this. It was just, oh, man, it was a packed house, too. Yeah. All right, they're on the 35-yard line. What they're getting ready to move it up? They're going to move it to the 40 for the kickoff. Was there another penalty initiated on the kickoff? I'm not sure here. Something. Hill. Yeah. All right. All right. Potomac is getting ready to kick off to Oxen Hill on the 40 yard line. Here's the kickoff. Oh, that short kick yeah. hit someone. That's live. All right. He picked it Gotta up. Pick He's it trying up. to get it. Oh, he almost, he was one, he was one play from breaking that. Yeah. One play. Yeah, number seven, Trey Williams stepped up to make the tackle for Potomac. Trey Williams, Great he's jump. a sophomore, 5'11", good size, 200 pounds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on Friday, September the 15th. Oxen Hill High School alumni All right, Oxen is going to have to answer that last touchdown with a drive of their own. So, you know, I'm really curious as to uh, what Coach Jeffrey has in his game plan for the second half offensively. I'm thinking the same thing, Devon. What is Oxen Hill going to do now? 
So here's the thing about both of these coaches, Coach Crump and Coach Jeffries. You know, we, we allow the kids to play the game, but I guarantee you both of these guys know each other very well. They know each other's no tendencies doubt. and no, habits. And, no doubt. you know, part of their game plan is based on that, what they know about each other. They probably played each other well. <laughs> I mean, uh, Coach Jeffries is in his 12th season, correct? That's correct. Oh, he's my. in his 12th season. Yeah, he's in his 12th season. So I know, and if for, for how many years Coach Crump has worked, or coach, he's played against Mr. Jeffries at some point in time, at least probably, well, football only once a year. Yeah, once a year. You yeah. guys, yeah, we got to wait for this matchup. Right. But uh, I'm pretty, I don't know how long Coach Crump has been there. I'm going to say he's been there longer than Coach Jeffrey has been here. Okay. Um, so if you count that, they've played at least 12 times. Exactly. We'll go with 12 for tonight. Exactly. And I'm sure they have players that. They've both been vying to recruiting to get to come to their oh, school. Oh, absolutely. No doubt. I'm absolutely. sure they, they truly have a recruiting war between the two of them Yeah. here in the district. All right. Oxen Hill on the 28-yard line in the shotgun. Tailback to the left. He's back. Throws it to the tailback. Pick up of about four yards at the most, if that. Yeah, that was a screen pass set yes. up by uh, Oxen Hill. Potomac did a good job of staying at home um, and not allowing too much yardage on that play. We're keeping it moving right here at, at Oxen Hill High School, Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. I'm Javel Ralston with Devon Williams. We got Oxen Hill lining up in the shotgun, tailback to the left. There's the snap to the tailback up the middle. Flag on the play. He gets about two, Devon. Yeah. One of the things I'm starting to notice is Coach Jeffries is uh, picking up the pace. You know, he's in that yeah. no-huddle offense. He's getting his guys back on the line as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, this is something to watch. He's starting to uh, push the pace of this game. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. As the new school year has started, if you need tutoring, math tutoring is available. Get math homework help, studying and test prep support in mathematics. Tutoring is available for all skill levels. Tap yeah. on to the PGC PS website for more information. Yeah. All right, Devon. Huge penalty. Huge penalty has backed Oxen Hill way up, so they're going to have to figure out how to get out of this one. All right, he's in the shotgun. Look like he got a fullback instead of a tailback to the left of him. No, he's, right, he's a big boy. guy, yeah. yeah. All right, he's in the shotgun waiting for the snap. There's the snap. He goes back. Throwing long, throwing long. Oh, he just <laughs> overthrew him. It was close. He hey, just barely. Yeah. One, one of the first things you learn as a receiver is do not stop running. Right. And I think That's that young man took did. a uh, second to stop running and yeah. look back into that backfield. and. Yeah. If sure he'd have did. kept running, he probably could have had some pay dirt in front of him. I agree with that. He did look back, and he kind of slowed up a little. Yeah, first thing you learn as a receiver. Do your part for safe schools. See something, say something. Submit anonymous tips through the Safe Schools Maryland app or tip, or tip online. All right, here we are again. Oxen Hill in the shotgun. Tail back to the left. There's the snap. Throws it to the right receiver outside. He's on the edge. Corner. Oh! He did not want to go down. Very good. Yeah, you know, Oxen Hill had those three yeah. receivers lined up to the right, right, and they threw a quick bubble screen yeah. out there, and he was able to get the blocking that he needed and get down the sideline. Right. Took it to the 37-yard line. Yeah, good old uh, bubble screen. Potomac. Woo! Oxen Hill's on the move. All right. They're lining up. Oxen Hill, they're in the shotgun. Tail back to the left again. Yeah, here's a hurry-up offense that I mentioned earlier. Three wide receivers. Wow. 
Pass was deflected. Pass was deflected. Incomplete pass. Yeah, I think that ball was thrown backwards, though. So <laughs> yeah, it was. that's why they had to jump on the ball, because right. that would have been a fumble. Okay, consider it a lateral then, huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he had to throw that ball backwards. All right, very good. All right, they're lining up real quick. Once again, Oxen Hill. They're in the shotgun. Tail back to the right. He's all over it. This is a beautiful evening, and you can hear the excitement all around us here at Potomac, or here at Oxen Hill, excuse me. All right, Oxen Hill takes the ball out of the shotgun, throws it to the 40, 35, to the 30. They've caught him up. He's at the 32-yard line. They bring him down. His forward progress was to the 32-yard line. Yeah, he just hooked up right on, right on the right hash, and quarterback was able to find him on that right hash, and he turned it upfield for a couple extra yards. Yep. Oh, what a feeling. I'm loving it. I think I'm at McDonald's. I'm loving it. Oxen Hill lining up in the shotgun, tail back to the right. Here's the snap. Three receivers to the left. He's throwing, got, got, got his man on the 30. He's got All right. He went to the 28-yard line. Pick up of about eight yards. Yeah, picked up a first down again. First down. Quarterback had some great feet and legs to keep himself alive. They're going, you know, they're they going in a quick, they're in a quick offense now. You yeah. notice that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, right. I told you that was going to become a factor because Trump timeout. had to burn a timeout on that one. You know, and I think this hurry up offense is uh, kind of wearing the Potomac defense down a little no bit. No doubt. Yeah, no. you've got to be in some great shape to play against that hurry up offense right. with Coach Jeffries. The pace is picked up. Oh, definitely. We've got some players kind of laying around on the field. I don't know if they're catching cramps or, or what. Yeah. I mean, we've got a nice night. It's not very hot out here, so. It's a know. great night. It's yeah. a great night for playing football. We'd like to let you know Prince George County Public Schools has health care for all students. That's right. Hazel Health has partnered with Prince George County Public Schools to provide access to quality health care services for all students, A, at no cost to families this school year. So tap onto the website and sign up now for health care for all students at Prince George County Public Schools. Devon, I'm enjoying this, this first time getting a chance to, uh, you know, just be a part of it as well as get a chance to announce with you for the first time. Yeah, we're getting treated to uh, something really special here in, in PG County. Uh, Maryland Public Schools don't always get the love that they deserve, but uh, if you come out and have an opportunity to watch some Maryland Public School football, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. No, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. There's a t lot of tons of talent throughout our county. And I've been holding back because this is football season. I didn't want to start talking about basketball <laughs> season cuz you know we you know we basketball guys. So I just I'm, I'm holding back. I, I, I'm going to talk to you about basketball in the fourth quarter. Okay. I'm going to okay. talk to you about basketball. I've been holding back cuz I got a lot of things I'd like to share with you as well as be able to ask you to get some 411 on the upcoming season. Yeah, we're, we're, we're excited about the season, and, uh, you know, we're, we're here as, uh, supporting this football team and getting through fall sports, so we're going to let winter be winter when it becomes winter. And I, I'm g telling you now, tomorrow I'm going back and look at your game. I, I got to go back and look at that middle school championship game. Yeah. All right, here we are, 552, third quarter. Oxen Hill in the shotgun, tail back to the left. Two wide outs. Yeah, that was, that's the snap. Coming to shoot. Oh, oh, he overthrew yeah, he, he him. He overthrew him big time. Yeah, that was that post route uh, that he was looking for. He's doing a great job of stepping up into the pocket yes, and uh, getting past those defensive ends. Just a little too much sauce yes, on that yeah, one. But, bit, yeah. hey, he showed off an arm that one. Yes, he yeah, did. Yeah, he showed off his arm on yeah. that one. He threw it. it was, and it was a perfect spiral, too. Yeah, no question. Yeah, no question. Spiral. 
Oh, what a feeling. Hey, you, you, you mentioned earlier that the University of Maryland's coaching staff is in the building. They may want to, you know, take a look at that arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's recruits here. You can see. And plus, like you said earlier, the broadcast networks are here. That's right. All right. Out of the shotgun. Gave it to his tailback up the middle. Uh, he got about maybe three or four. Yeah, that was a good much. tackle in there by really number good. seven, Trey Williams. Yep. Um, we've called his name a few times tonight. He's been Johnny on the spot. Yeah, we've got number 53 hustling off the field with a little limp. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, 54. Yeah. So Potomac's having to run their subs in and out of the game because of this uh, up-tempo offense right, right. of Oxen Hill. You better keep some fresh legs in yeah. there with the way they're moving. All right, Oxen Hill is lining up once again in the shotgun. Tail back to the left. Three wide outs to the right. He snapped. All right, trying to run. Oh, he <laughs> yeah. was tripped up. Yeah, that's was a great, great that, tackle by that, number 22, uh, Reginald Bailey. Reginald Bailey, number yeah. 22. You know, he he saved a big run there because I think that one was going to go go for a few extra yards. I have to admit, though, uh, Potomac has at least three sophomores that are really stand out as players. And, you know, to be a sophomore playing varsity, that right there says you're a pretty good player. Yeah, and that makes a difference. I mean, Oxen Hill has a uh, huge junior oh, class. Um, Offside. Yeah. Offside. Offside, Potomac. Yeah, as, as I was beginning to say, Oxen Hill has a huge junior class over the last couple of years. Oxen okay. Hill has uh, taken some licks throughout the season because okay. of their youth. But okay. um, those young guys have now grown up and are junior in the junior class. So... Um, it bodes well when you have guys that have been in the program for a while, understand the system, mm -hmm. and know how to go about their business. Right. What's that old saying? Oh, what a difference a year makes. Yeah, it makes it a huge difference. difference. It makes a big difference. And you see that even at the NFL level. Oh, absolutely. No doubt. A rookie in the NFL and a second year is different. Jalen Hurst, that's one of them you can just think of that. All right, here we go. He's under center right now. Oxen here. Tailback and fullback. Up the middle. Power run up the middle. Yeah. Power run up the middle. First down. I think that may have been my first time seeing Oxen Hill's quarterback up under center. Yeah, that one. That that one. Yeah. Very much so. And right? they ran that ball right off the right tackle, so they got a good seal and block from their right tackle in there. Yeah. He's back under center back again. Back under center again. Yeah. Yep. All right. Tailback and fullback. Oh! Oh, pop go to Weasel. He popped him in the back. Yeah. All right. They but Tommy tackled. got a lot of penetration on that particular play and was able to tackle the running back in the backfield. Um, tackle for a loss of about four yards. Yeah. It's it's getting really tight now. It's yeah, I think Oxen Hill, they've had a lot of success in this shotgun, so yeah. I think they have to get back to Oxen Hill football and get back into that shotgun and spread this defense yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. The shotgun gives them much more options. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. You hear the public address announcer, second and goal. Yeah, we got stacked trips on the right side, so... They're in the shotgun. Snap. Touchdown. Oxen Hill. Yeah, Oxen Hill went with three receivers on the right. They sent one on the undercut, and that outside receiver was able to dig into the middle field and back out, and touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah. That was just a great play design. That was a good throw, too. Yeah, absolutely. He caught it, stopped on the dime, and got in. All right. You, you know, that, that particular play brings me back to when uh, the interview this week when Oxen Hill's oh, offensive game coordinator game. was telling his coach, hey, man, you've got to trust that out. That's ex I think that's the exact yeah. play that he was talking about. Right. All right. They missed the extra two. Yeah. They missed going for the extra two points. 
Yeah, I think that was great coaching there. I heard right. him early in the season during practice and telling his quarterback, hey, you've got to uh, trust that out. It's going to be there. The slant, you know, so they've already talked about that play numerous times. So it was great to see uh, see him execute. Yes, it was. All right, 217 to go in the third quarter. Oxen Hill has just scored. The score now is 21 to 13. 217 left in the third quarter right here at Oxen Hills. You can hear it. It's going on here. We're back. 217 to go in the third quarter. 21 13. Oxen Hill. All right. Potomac with the ball. He's at the 41 yard line. Yeah, that was a straight line kick. So yeah, they, that ball got to him quick and he took off with it. No doubt. Luckily, Oxen Hill had some pretty good coverage on that one. Everybody get a free burger. Trey Williams is running the ball. 5'10, 200 pounds. All right, here we go. <laughs> Potomac better get on the board. They better get something going. <laughs> Our public service announcer is messing with the fans. My one more touchdown, everybody gets a free burger. <laughs> Make sure I get my burger too. Right, right, right. All right, they're lining up. Potomac trying to get back in this game. Down by eight. 2.09 to go in the third quarter. I'm Tavell Ralston right here at Oxen Hill. Potomac in the shotgun. Giving to the tailback. Comes around the corner. Yeah. yeah. I thought Potomac would come back out and uh, keep running the ball. And, yeah, they made up their mind. They're going to yeah. run it. Yeah, that was Makai Lewis once again. Yeah, Senior. he was able to slide out to the outside. Uh, Raymond Lewis, number three, was there to give a block, and uh, he didn't want to get a holding call, so he got out of the way. Okay. You can hear, you can hear the excitement all around us. You can hear it. Yeah. It's just a great evening of football right here at Oxen Hills High School. All right, Potomac lining up once again. They've been running the ball and running it well. They're in the shotgun, tail back to the left. Wide outs to the left, two wide to the left, one in the slot. Yeah, he, he got lucky ball. with that one, yeah. Right. He held the ball too long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, All right. just another announcement. The concession stand will be closing. The concession stand will close at the end of the third quarter. If you need to go get some food, drinks, sodas, the concession will close. 109 to go the the in the third quarter. For those of you that are here at the stadium, you just heard it. Concession stand is going to close at the end of the third quarter, so you better go get your refreshments or whatever you want before this last one minute and nine seconds. This has been a game that has had some turnovers, some big breaks, some crazy plays, but the game has still been close. Yeah, this is a, a still a reachable game for right. Potomac. They just got to, again, not hurt themselves, and, you know, they seem to be hurting themselves with the penalties. No one has been able to run away. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Potomac in the shotgun. Snap. Oh, oh it's a high, high snap. snap. Yeah. Oh, wow. He missed it. Yeah. He missed it. Yeah, they're looking for these underneath routes, and Oxen Hill seems to be a good job of uh, being in the right place at the right, the right time. time. So Potomac's going to have to uh, punt this ball here. Concessions will close. Also, if your parents drop you off, please make the phone calls now. 
Call your Uber, call your Lyft, call somebody. It's Friday night. We're trying to get out of here after the game. You don't need nothing in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Public address announcer. Yeah, absolutely. I like him. He's been letting the, letting the students know. Call your parents early. Make sure they're here when the game is over with so you can go home. I agree. All right. Potomac's getting ready to punt to Oxen Hill. Oh, high punt. A high snap. He tried to get out. Terrible, terrible play. Not a good play yeah. to give them the ball. And they're on, in Oxen Hill territory. On, right, in Oxen yeah. Hill territory. That's yeah. a terrible yeah. play. Maybe if it wasn't for the bad snap, yeah. he would have he, he would have had an yeah. opportunity. But you add in the bad snap, and he didn't have a chance. He didn't have nothing. No. He was short at least five, six yards from getting the first. All right, they're on the 48-yard line of Potomac. Yeah, I think I think Potomac's gonna buckle in here and just rely on their defense to get them the ball back and um, get another shot at this thing. They I have to. So. Yeah, they have to with that play. All right, Potomac's on the 48-yard line, or Oxen Hills on the 48-yard line of Potomac. They're in the shotgun. Two wideouts to the right, one to the left. Shotgun give up the middle. Pick up of about two yards. Yeah. I can expect Oxen Hill to hand the ball off and protect the basketball. We've got a uh, player down on the field. Let's hope he's okay. Uh, they're waving the coaching staff out. Timeout. Yeah, timeout on the play. Yeah, let's see if we can get that number. Hopefully he's all right. Let's see. 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank both sides of the ball. It is so rewarding to go into a community that has distressed properties and to be able to transform that. This is CTE. I've always loved to cook and love to take care of people. This is CTE. What I like about teaching is it provides me opportunities to help others. This is CTE. Choose your path by applying to a Prince George's County CTE program today. Definitely don't let the haters hold you back. Prepare for what's next at Prince George's Community College. Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate, then you can start pursuing your passion today. I don't need CTE. I'm going to college. Really? I'm in CTE and I'm going to college. How'd you do that? CTE gives you college credits, industry certifications, and scholarships. And right now, I'm getting paid in my internship. You get all that from CTE? Yes, for free. Who's next? Me. I have some questions about CTE. We're back. Once again, we had an injury on the play, but he seems to be okay. Was able to get up, and come off the field on his own. Yeah, All that right. was Michael Oyode, who already has a touchdown here in this game. He was able to get himself off the field with no problem. So hopefully we'll see him back in the game tonight. Hope so. All right. Oxen Hill with the ball in the shotgun. Gives off to the tailback. Picks up at about three yards yeah. on the play. Went to bounce it outside and bounced it back inside and was able to gain a few yards. Right. He's at the 36-yard line of Potomac. <laughs> yeah, Oxen Hill is going to uh, work this clock a little bit with their run game. So uh, Potomac is going to have to get in there and stop this run if they want to have an opportunity to get this ball back. And Oxen Hill has been moving the ball. So we know that Potomac has to make a stop in order to stay in this game. All right, this All is the right, end of the third out. quarter. Fourth quarter, and fourth quarter. You're listening fourth to the Prince quarter. George County, and we'll Great be back tonight. in just moments. Friday night football, live from the shipyard. Oxen Hill 21. <laughs> Potomac 13.
Oxen Hill for the last quarter, the fourth quarter. 12 minutes to go. Oxen Hill 21. Potomac 13. Uh, we've got movement up front. They drew the outside, defense offside. No doubt, outside yep. to Potomac. That's going to give uh, Oxen Hill first down here in the fourth quarter. Again, Potomac has, uh, Potomac has been shooting themselves in the foot with the penalties and exactly. uh, turnovers. Not a good way to start the fourth quarter. Not a second off the clock, and you got a penalty. 12 minutes to go. Oxen Hill lining up in the shotgun. Ball on the 31 yard line. Start on the four. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Straight up the middle. Pickup of about four. Another good run by Oxen Hill right up the middle. Um, Oxen Hill has a lot of motion and movement, so I know it's difficult for Potomac to track that ball. 11 40 and running. 11.40 in the fourth quarter. Potomac lined up in the shotgun. Excuse me, Oxen Hill lined up in the shotgun. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Straight to the tailback. Up the middle, pickup of about three. Great run by the Clippers. And the old line is moving good. All right, Potomac. Potomac's going to have to, uh, I don't know, get a little more beef up front, I guess, to stop this run. Don't forget one more touchdown, free burgers. One like you to remember, tutoring burgers. is available. Reading, English, language arts tutoring. Learn about our tutoring programs that can build your child's skills Seven. and confidence in reading, Absolutely. English, and language arts. We'd like to welcome you to the Prince Absolutely. George County Public Schools Absolutely. Sports Absolutely. Network Absolutely. on the YouTube channel. I'm Tavelle Ralston. Prince George's County Public Schools is pleased to offer a wide range of specialty program opportunities for students. Our programs are unique and provide hands-on experience that aim to spark interest while preparing students for a successful future. These opportunities are open to all students from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade via an application or lottery process. To learn more about the application process and view a complete list of programs, please visit visit www.pgcps.org backslash applications. Jumpstart your future back. now. 10.55 to go. Oxen Hill, 21. Potomac, 13. This has been a good one. Some big turnovers. Some great, great busted plays. It's been a game that has had turnovers that have turned into six points, but the game has remained close. No one has gotten away. No one has had more than one score away. Yeah. Right. Tomic's still in this game. They've just got to exactly. figure out how to get a stop here and get the ball back. They've got plenty of time. He got Great his man. Play. He got it. Great catch. He caught it. Yeah, but I think we, Over before the catch, we've the had some uh, flags come down on the field. Okay, yeah, I do see. Yeah, and that's going to be Over holding, against. bringing this one back. Holding against Oxen Hill. They've shot themselves in the foot a couple of times, too, in this game. Yeah, you can tell it's early in the season. These are a lot of things that, uh, you know, I'm sure the coaches, when they get back to practice, they'll show the kids on film, and, you know, they'll point these things out and work on uh, not making these mistakes as they go forward. No doubt. Yeah, this is one of those counties where you just can't make a lot of mistakes. There's not a lot of room for error. We're in line 13 for the All right, Oxen Hill. <laughs> On the 35-yard line, in the shotgun. Three wideouts to the right. He runs out of the pocket. Oh, he looks like he might 
Pushed out at the 22-yard line. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's gotten the first down, but uh, I like this guy. I mean, he's shown that he has some wheels. He's not afraid to uh, get outside of the pocket and run with the ball. Um, he's showing a lot of promise. Yes, yes, he does. A long one. Fourth and long one. As they say, all in a matter of time, you get better as you mature. And he's a junior. Nothing but good things ahead for me, for him in the next year. Yeah, not only is a junior, he's a 4.1 student. I was trying to figure that out when he said that on this interview. Are we on a four-point system? <laughs> I don't know how you get an extra one. Yeah, well, you got to remember, uh, here at Oxen Hill, we have the STEM program, um, and he's part of that STEM program and is able to get extra points in his classes, extra credit in his classes. So, yeah, definitely possible uh, to get above a 4.0. He ran through that, that last play. He ran through there like a bulldozer. <laughs> I mean, he really pulled his way right on down to that first down. All right. He's up on the center now. Oxen Hill. Time out. Time out, Potomac. Time out, Potomac. We'll be right back. Public schools, career and technical education programs. Choose from dozens of in-demand career paths where high skill commands high wages. With CTE, you can launch your career, earn your high school diploma, get industry certified or licensed, and get college credits with no student debt all at the same time. Learn to work and work to learn. Apply to a Prince George's County Public Schools CTE program now to start building your future today. As a career and technical education student at Prince George's County Public Schools, you get college credit and industry certifications while you're in high school, but that's just the beginning. You can be a part of fun student organizations, compete with your peers, earn scholarships from industry partners, find a mentor in your chosen field, become an apprentice, and get help finding a job. CTE is just the starting point, and your future starts now. It's a full moon out tonight. Oh yeah, don't... And it's definitely shining on us. I'm looking at it now. So just be thoughtful. It's a full moon. Anything goes. All right, right up the middle. Oxen Hill, touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> this might be it. This might be the turning point. Potomac better answer on this one, Devon. Yeah, Oxen Hill, as I said earlier, Oxen Hill has decided that they're going to run the ball uh, to put a little bit of pressure on Potomac and the clock, and they just handed the ball off and cross the goal line we go. Exactly. All right, they're, they're lining up to do it. Extra point. They're not going to go for two. Extra point. Here we go. And it's good. It's good. 27 13. 28 13 now. Ah, uh, three scores now. We're going to need three scores. Yeah, Oxen Hill can kind of feel this one. Cheerleaders going off and flipping. Yeah, the cheerleaders having it. It's going on, I'm telling you. Everybody's having a good time and it's festive. 9.46 to go in the third, fourth quarter, excuse me. 28 13. Oxen Hill over Potomac. Prince George County Public Schools welcomes you to our YouTube channel as we're streaming live from Oxen Hill High School. I'm Tavell Ralston with Devon Williams. We're getting ready to kick off. Oxen Hill is getting ready to kick off to Potomac. Devon, they got to get back in the game quickly. 
They've yeah. Got, yeah only, got only way I see that, but they've got to score very quickly exactly. here, and then they've got to turn around and uh, figure out how to get the ball back no and score again. It. So uh, it's definitely not over yet. I've seen some stranger things happen. Yep. All right. That's a good kick. Really, really good kick there. Oh, he picks it up and tries to take it back. Oh! Yes. Clippers covered that one quickly. Yeah, Mr. Howard looks to be uh, limping a little bit after that play. Um, yeah, he wasn't very decisive as to whether or not he wanted to pick that up and run with it or just kind of let it bounce. But he chose to pick it up, and he chose to uh, <laughs> take what came with it. All right. All right, ladies in the front, I need you to take a seat. They marked ladies it. Ladies in the front, please take a seat. They're stadium. marking it at the 15 yard room. line. Ladies down front, take a seat in the stadium, please. 15 yard line. Thank you. All right, it'll be first and first and 10 from the 15, 940 to go. Yeah, but, I'm not sure if uh, Potomac has enough time to uh, continue to run the ball. I think they're going to have to uh, put the ball in the quarterback's hand and put the ball in the air uh, in order to pull this one off. In order to pull this one off, that full moon is going to have to be a half moon for them right now. <laughs> and I don't think so, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they, they can come back. They, they got to score quickly, though, Devon. They got to score quickly. Make sure we see this green tool at the end of the game. Yeah, there's another run. Not a lot of yardage on that one. Right, and, and, and when you're running the ball, you know that doesn't stop the clock, so. Yeah, you know yeah. that. All right, 9.24 to go in the fourth quarter. Potomac on the 13-yard line. Down by two scores, really three scores. 28-13. Yeah, let's see if Potomac to come out and start throwing the ball around a little bit and uh, move this football. Without those passes, I don't know that they're going to be able to pull this one off. Right. All right, Potomac lines up in the shotgun. 845 and running in the fourth. Wide outs to the right, to the left. Motion coming across, out the shotgun, snap. All right, pass the center, tailback. Oh, they, they covered that real good. Yeah, we've Pick got up. a flag down. I think there may be some uh, illegal motion or offsides here on okay. Potomac. That one may be coming back. Yeah, that one's against Potomac, so they're going to walk that ball backwards. What did they call, offsides, illegal motion, or what? Yeah, illegal motion, too many mo men, men moving at the same time. Okay. Yep. All right, there's a five-yard penalty against Potomac, illegal motion. Moves the ball back to the 12-yard line. Once again, we welcome our fans to Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. Potomac and Oxen Hill at Oxen Hill High School. Potomac in the shotgun. Snap. Quarterback goes back, throws the ball down the middle. Oh. Yeah, he overthrew him, and that one was almost picked off, which would uh, have definitely sealed sealed this game off. No doubt. 8.07 to play. Fourth quarter. <laughs> you need a ride home. Call your parents right now. Yeah. They want to get this stadium cleared out after the game so they can go home. I know our educators have been in the building right. all week, and they're tired, so pretty sure they want these kids to get home safely as quickly as possible. And same same here. I like to get home safely as quickly as possible. All right, here we go. Starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Potomac. In the shotgun, three wideouts. Look like they're going for it all now. Oh, he missed it. Yeah, Just he short. dropped it. Yeah, put it where it needed he to be. Put it right where it needed to be. Oxen Hill's playing man to man here late, so they're they're not backing down at all. That was a pretty good throw. A little under, it was under throw, but it was a pretty good throw. Yeah, it's still catchable ball. It was catchable. Yeah, you got to catch so. those balls, especially this late in the game when you're looking to get back in the game. Got to come up with those. Once again, you know the flu season. 
and COVID is still around. Get your immunization. Register online at www.marylandvax.org. Register online at www.marylandvax.org. Yeah. One of the things I've been noticing tonight is Potomac seems to be running players on the field late. Yeah. Um, you know, quite a few plays, and that's just not... Uh, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with that with that group there. Exactly. Oh, high step. He's trying to get out. Gets around. He gets back to about the 13 yard line where he's run out of bounds. Yeah, that's. I think that's the second time we've saw that play. Both times it was a high snap, so I'm yeah. not sure um, if that was the call in the huddle to run that, or just because of the high snap he had to run it. Right. But right. that's the second time uh, they give Oxen Hill again good field position here in the fourth quarter. This has been one great night for football. The weather is great, the atmosphere is great, and the game has been great, and I'm enjoying it. And I'll say it again, I'm loving it like McDonald's. <laughs> 7.54 to go in the fourth quarter. 28-13. Oxen Hill in the shotgun. If they score this time, you might as well put the lid on the coffin. Yeah, they just got to take care of the ball. Oh, he stayed oh, on his stay feet. Oh, That's it. Oh, <laughs> my God. He stayed on his feet. Yeah, he stayed on his oh. feet on that one. And that. Might be it, folks. I don't know. As I tell my students, it looks like it's over, Grover. Look like you're done, son. It's touchdown. Yeah, not sure why we're getting a late reaction from the crowd, but uh, the yeah. officials have just confirmed that is another to touchdown, touchdown by Oxen Hill. Started out to be a really, really good competitive game, yeah, but uh, you know, since since the uh, half, the second half has been nothing but Oxen Hill Oxen with their yeah, their That's foot is on is. the gas. Right, Oxen Hill coming all down here. That's what <laughs> I like been. that. Oxen, Oxen Hill, Hill down coming here. All down here. Hey. All right, they line up for the extra point. You can hear it. You can hear it. The atmosphere. Oh, they getting, they are feeling yeah. it now they here in Oxen here. Hey, 1.7 miles away. I bet over Potomac they can hear this one. Yeah, they can hear it. You can see the Potomac fans leaving. Yeah, they're, they're starting, starting to, to foul out of here. They're starting to foul out. Get a head start home. All right, extra point being taken. It's good. Yeah. Oxen Hill 35, Potomac 13. This game has changed quickly in the second half. I'm Tavell Ralston here with Devon Williams, and I'm having a great time calling this game. Once again, I'd like to send a shout out to my outstanding principal, Mr. Marcellus Clement, and his staff at Greenbelt Middle School. Also send a shout out to all my staff there at Greenbelt Middle School, all the teachers, custodians, and everybody that makes it work each and every day. We've had a great week. We also like to send a shout out to Principal Mark C. Holland and Assistant Athletic Director Becky Greenfield. Also, we want to send a shout out. We don't want to forget Principal Dr. DeMarco Clark at Potomac for all the things that they do to make our students have a better place of learning. All right, they're going to try it again. It was called back. So here we go again. And it's good. And it's good. All right, that's it. 35 13. Thank you for coming out tonight, Mr. Swan. We got so many good people out here tonight. Yeah, it's great to see so many people out tonight right enjoying tonight. football. And right. uh, for the most part, this has been an excellent crowd. Uh, they've been cheering on their respective schools. So we've had a really good time out here tonight. Mm -hmm. Great time, great time. I know my coaches might be watching. Coach Hines for basketball. 
Coach Brooks for ba baseball, and our athletic director, Mr. Cooper. I'd like to send a shout out to all three of them. To let them know I appreciate what you do each and every day with our students. All right, we're winding down, even though it's still a little time left. 7:45 in the fourth quarter. 35-13. Oxen Hill coming all Ladies downhill and on Potomac right now. Please take a seat for your safety as well as ours. Have a seat, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't get barred from the game for the rest of the year. It will all right, happen. here's the kickoff. Take a seat. Potomac Mills is receiving. They got it. Oh! He fumbled. Fumble. Yeah, it looks Fumble. like Potomac guy Davis was able to jump to on it. In. Yeah. Oh, Potomac is really, really coming apart right now. Have a seat, ladies and gentlemen. Please have a seat. Ladies right here under the booth, I need you to take a seat. Learn more gentlemen, about the clear backpack right. policy that applies to ninth through 12th graders and students in non-traditional and north, south, and middle school. 7.38 remaining in the fourth quarter. We have an injury on the field. Oxen Hill, brother. What's next at Prince George's Community College? Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate and you could start pursuing your passion today. Students and visitors are about to see Prince George's County Public Schools new weapons detection system called OpenGate. The system is designed to automatically screen people with backpacks and bags for threat detection. It will also identify other contraband items that are not allowed on school property. Open gate screening is fast and automatic. It requires no removal of backpacks, bags, or purses, and it's designed for easy walkthrough flow. When you arrive on campus, you should have your laptop out and be ready to hand it to a staff member before walking through. You can retrieve your belongings on the other side and continue to your destination. However, if the light at the top of the pillar turns red, a staff member will pull you aside to a designated search area and perform a search of your person and backpack or any other bags you may have with you. If a weapon or a contraband is found, law enforcement will be notified. Here's a reminder, all students and all visitors to campus during regular school hours will be required to enter through the open gate system and are subject to search. Your safety while in school is our top priority. We thank you for your patience and understanding as we implement this new security system. Five, 13, 738 to go, fourth quarter. Potomac 
Has the ball in shotgun. Back to pass. Back. He the Throws over the middle. Right Caught. The middle. He's on He's the move. Moving real good. He's out at the 47-yard line. Yeah, and that's what I expected for Potomac to have to uh, throw the ball. I like to see number 10 get himself back Trey in the Williams. huddle. Yeah, he's he's jawing a little bit with the Oxen Hill uh, defensive back, but he needs to get back with his team and right, stay focused. Yeah, he's got to stay focused and, stay focused. and yeah. All right, first down. First down, Wolverines. That was that was a good play. They needed that. Yeah. Tomek hasn't had have, 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 have not been able to move the ball here lately. In but, the second uh, half, yeah. they haven't at all. All right, here they are in the shotgun. Three wideouts to the right, one to the left. Tail back to the left. Snap. Out of the shotgun. Got a man, number three. Number three. Raymond Lewis. Yeah, it looks like uh, the only thing Oxen Hill is giving Potomac are those underneath passes, and that's just not going to be enough uh, here with seven minutes left. They've got to stretch the field a little bit and throw the ball long. No doubt about it. It's not been easy in the second half for Potomac. They have not moved, moved the ball and definitely haven't scored. All right, they're lining up Potomac. Three wideouts to the left, one to the right, tail back to the right, in the shotgun. Waiting for the snap. Here's the snap. Snap kind of low. Throws to the right. Got a man. Little or nothing. Yeah, again, another one of those passages just underneath. Uh, that was pretty much like a three yard pass. Yeah, to Rome Devers. Didn't pretty much go anywhere. All right, once again. Potomac is huddling. 6 11 to go. Third down. This has been a game in the first half that you would have not thought that it would have got away like this. The second half has been all Oxen Hill coming downhill on Potomac. Potomac in the shotgun. Side. All right, running Three. up the middle. Throws. Throws got a man. Got a man. Number 14. Great catch by number 14. Tony got Lee. him down to the five-yard line. All right, Potomac is starting to uh, make Elijah a little Robinson, bit of noise here. Robinson, senior Elijah Robinson. Yeah, they're showing a little bit of life, but again, yep. once again, we've got some laundry on the field. And oh, wow. Yeah, it's just been one of those games. We've just had too many uh, penalties. Right. And, and and the type of penalties that cost them after a big play. Yeah. After they've really made headway, then they lose it. Yeah. So that's what that's the part that really hurts. After big plays, then they they get penalized. Yeah, and I thought that I thought the quarterback was pretty close, and the uh, officials just confirmed that that was an illegal forward pass. Oh. Yeah, okay. our quarterback he was over the line of scrimmage, so that's why this one is coming back. Okay. Well, we've had a great evening of entertainment and excitement. And I'll tell you again, I'm not only delighted, I've been excited by this whole evening of football and it being the opening, opening season of the 23-24 Prince George County Public Schools high school football season. Oh, he throwing it. He went for it. Out of yeah. bounds, way over. He went for that outside shoulder on yep. fourth down, but uh, Oxen Hill's defensive back was able to press him up against the sideline and have that bone thrown out of have that ball thrown out of bounds. No doubt. Once again, we'd like to welcome our new superintendent, Millard House the second. Thanks for coming and joining us at Prince George County Public Schools. We really appreciate it. I'm Tavelle Ralston, technology teacher at Greenbelt Middle School, and you're announcing the voice of Prince George County Public Schools Sports Network. And I'm here with Devon Williams, and we're having a good time kicking it. You can hear the sounds in the background as we pump it up. Oxen Hill has the ball in the shotgun. Straight up the middle. Right up the middle. 
Nice play. Pickup of about 11 yards. Yeah. First down. Yeah, that's the fullback there. Yeah, they're gonna start. They're gonna start running it right. I said right downhill on Potomac right now. We hope that you've enjoyed the game, and as you leave this evening, please be safe, drive safely, and look out for others as you are going home. Please. We want everyone to arrive home safely. All right. In the shotgun, Oxen Hill. Two wideouts to the left. Tailback and fullback. In the shotgun, waiting for the snap. Two wideouts to the left. Gives it to that fullback. He did, if he got two yards, I think. Yeah, he didn't get much there. He didn't get much. Yeah. Not at all. They clogged that one up. But, I mean, this second half, Oxen Hill has looked pretty good. They've got their offense going. Um, so, again, it's the first game jitters, and they're kind of working the kinks out. So, I expect this offense to get a lot better as we go forward. No doubt. 4-17, fourth quarter. Oxen Hill 36, Potomac 13. Oxen Hill has the ball in the shotgun. Two wideouts to the right, one to the left. Waiting for the snap. Motion in the middle. Hands off the Noah Williams. He picked up about four yards. Yeah, that's the big guy again, yeah. Noah Williams. Um, yeah, he's asking for the ball. I think he wants it every single snap. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how Oxen Hill continues on through his season. Uh, any idea who Oxen Hill may be up against next? Flowers. Flowers uh -oh. <laughs> next. Yeah, right. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one with Flowers. Yeah, those, that's your reigning state champions there. Exactly. Exactly. And they got quite a few people returning, too. All right, here we go. Uh, offsides. Yeah. On Potomac. A little excited. Potomac next week is at Crossland. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I, I'm just curious as to how many yards of penalties. Penalty yards. Yeah, yeah. that uh, yeah. Potomac has tonight. It's been quite a few. Right, 100 yards, put it probably close. Close to 100 yards, probably. All right, they're lined up. He's in the shotgun. Oxen Hill. Yeah, I think Oxen Hill is looking to uh, put a little icing on top of this cake. No doubt. Anytime you get into a community bowl and you never know if you bump into one of these Potomac Wolverines out in the store while you're out, you know, you want to have some bragging rights. Right, bragging rights, no doubt. A lot of these kids, they see each other at other activities, you know, and they're out having the fun and partying and having a good time, they see each other. <laughs> Look, this is such a small community, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these kids end up in under the same roof after the game tonight. <laughs> exactly, exactly, you said it right. All right, Oxen Hill in the shotgun. Uh-oh, not paying attention. Yeah, it's not paying attention. That definitely, it seemed like they were offsides, though, the defense, but I don't know. Yeah, no, it looks like to me that were the uh, center, no, nah, the center snapped the ball, and uh, quarterback and running backs were still uh, eyes on the sideline looking at the coach's signals. Wow. Looks like uh, Potomac is not going to take a time off. They know it's over with. All right, as we get ready to wind down, we'd like to let you know that Prince George County Public Schools wants everyone to arrive home safely, drive home safely. Please make sure as you leave, you're courteous to our neighborhoods and our students and staff as you leave. All right, here's once again in the shotgun, Oxen Hill, two wideouts to the right, one to the left, tailback and fullback. Waiting on the snap, 120 to play, fourth quarter. He looks, looks like he wants to throw to the end zone. Nothing, nothing there. Yeah, he, he had a little bit of traffic underneath his feet in the pocket. I'm not sure if he was 100% comfortable making that pass, but yeah. yeah, he was able to get it out. 112 to go, 112 to go. Well, Tavel, uh, this has been my first football game here in PG County in, in, in Maryland Public Schools, and 
Uh, I got to admit, man, I had a great time tonight. I appreciate your hospitality. appreciate you uh, guiding me through my first night, and hopefully we'll have another opportunity to do this again. It's just like we tell our students, you know, we learn together. We Absolutely. learn together. And that's what it's all about. No matter how old you get, you'll always be. Be trying to learn something. Yeah, that one smacked out of the smacked end zone. Smacked out. Yeah, I told down. you, Oxen Hill was going for a little icing on yeah, the cake. Yeah, they do. They going for it. Foot still on the gas. Right, right. All right. I can't say it anymore. We appreciate you. That's right. We appreciate the fans. We appreciate the students. And most of all, we appreciate all of you that helped make this possible. We'd like to thank our technical director, Mr. George Crawford, we'd like to thank one of our producers and people that I know that does a lot for this, Mr. Dwayne Brown. He happened to not be here tonight, but we'd like to thank him and all of our staff that works with us to make things like this happen. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you from thank the bottom so of much. my heart. Without you, you guys, none of this. I want to send a shout out to my man Joe over here sitting next to me, kept me company, the timekeeper. Made my day as we <laughs> shared good times and bad times today. Thank you, Joe. All right, we're getting ready to wind down. Ooh. One minute to go. One minute, eight seconds. Potomac has seconds the ball. I would say it's showtime, but it's go time. It ain't oh, showtime snap. now. Yeah, they need so, to go in a hurry. Oh, that's a great catch by that. number 14. Oh, I love it, young man. Run, young man, run. Oh, that, was, that was like a Beckman. He caught that like with one hand. Ah, oh, that was nice. Little OBJ in him. Yeah, little OBJ. Great one hand catch by that young guy. That was nice. It was great. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah, we got to play that back. I'm going to go home and look at that. When I get home, I hope we. I know we got it. I, that that was nice. As you saw it, uh, Potomac said we got a little bit left in the tank, just a little bit. It's a little too late, but you still. It was a good. It was a good play. Hey, but you know what? In spite of the score, I'm sure he'll tell somebody. You know that catch I made. I housed y'all. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, he did. I took it to the house on y'all. I housed y'all. Oh, wow. excuse me. They'll be coming. You believe me? If you lost your car keys, you won't be going nowhere. That's for sure. 57 seconds to go. They're going for two. Uh, they're throwing the fade on this one. Uh, that's it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, score definitely wasn't as close as, uh, as it is. They, Potomac got a late touchdown here in the fourth quarter uh, to get a little closer. But Oxen Hill has had their foot on the gas, foot on the throttle. All the way. All the way. From the, from the very opening of the second half, Oxen Hill just took control of this game. Yeah. Uh, they, they never let Potomac get back in this game. Yeah, and I think what wore Potomac down was just that hurry-up offense that uh, Coach Jeffries went to uh, when they came out in the third quarter and went to the no huddle. Yes. Uh, it seems like that's when things started to get going for Oxen Hill. So, yes. um, again, Potomac's going to have to uh, get back in onto the field this week and regroup and – uh, figure out what they're going to do when they go over to Crossland. Right, and Oxen Hills is going to definitely have to go back and reflect on this game, but prepare themselves for a bigger game next week against Flowers, which is the state champs. Yeah, don't think they're going to be able to turn the ball over as much as they did here tonight. No, uh, uh, no, Oxen, no. that's being Oxen Hill. Yeah. They're really going to have to take care of the ball no uh, against Flowers to well, have an opportunity. Once again, we'd like to send a shout out to our new superintendent, Millard House II. We thank you for coming and being a part of the Prince George County Public Schools. As we wind down, 57 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Oxen Hill, 35, Potomac, 19. And the score does not reflect how lopsided it was for the second half. Oxen Hill took control of this game and never let go. And they drove the ball right down their throat. 
<laughs> yeah, they had no mercy. Yeah, right, they just they drove it, drove it right down the throat at, on the second half. Well, well, I'm excited. You know, if this is any indication of uh, what the remainder of this season is going to be out around the county, nice. yes. yeah, I'm I'm really excited about yes. this season. It's good to uh, have football back. Yes, and this this is a good warm up and preview of what's to come. So we got a lot still here awaiting us here in Prince George County Public Schools. This is the place to be. As we're winding down, 37 seconds. Oh, we got a little extra on that kneel down. All right. Yeah, we just want to keep it clean we and keep uh, it going. shake hands. Have a good evening, yeah. everyone. Be safe as you leave. And remember, it's a new school year. Have no fear. We're here for you. And that's the students and parents of Prince George County Public Schools. Thank you, everybody, and have a pleasant evening. Please don't leave no items in the stadium. Once you leave, you will not be able to answer. Coach Greenfield will be presenting the Community Bowl Trophy that will be exchanged every year when these two teams play. It's all about our community. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. 93.9, Outback. Thank you. Oh, man, I thank you, man. It was good. That was a good one right there. It was good. It was good. It's like, I was telling him that hurry when it was Greg Craig, went to that hurry up off. Yep. Yeah. Took him out the game, man. <laughs> Thank you.